This is question 12. Here I'm asked to describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B. So what I need to do is I need to figure out what transformation has taken triangle A onto triangle B. Immediately I can see it's not a translation. A translation, the shape would stay in the same orientation, it would have just been moved somewhere. I can see it's not an enlargement because the shape hasn't got any bigger or smaller. I can also see that it is not a reflection because the shape hasn't been flipped over, which means that to get from A onto B, it must be a rotation. And I can see that A has been rotated by a quarter turn. So I'm going to write down that this is a rotation. And as I just said, we can see that it has been rotated from A to B, that it has been rotated 90 degrees. Now, the final point that we need to then make is what the center of rotation is. So where has it been rotated from? Now, to do this, again, you can use a compass. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to place um, my compass on some different points. Okay, so if I place my compass on that point there, 1, 5, and I'm just going to open up the um, I'm just going to open up the compass wide enough so that it fits onto one of the points on triangle A. So what I'm now hoping is that if I rotate, if I turn this compass 90 degrees, that it that that point that I have marked on A, that that will map onto the corresponding point on B. So what I can see when I do this, so if I rotate it 90 degrees, is that that does not work. Okay, I can see that that point is not mapping onto point B. So let's try again. So this time I'm going to try at the point 1, 4. So that point just there. And I'm going to map it onto one of the points of point A. And then, again, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm just going to rotate, and I'm going to see whether this, when I rotate it, will that map onto the corresponding point on point B. And when I do it this time, when I've rotated it 90 degrees, what I can see is that it does. And so what I can now say is that it's my final answer is going to be that it is a rotation 90 degrees and it is going to be center. So the center of rotation is going to be where I just placed my compass, the coordinate 1, 4. So final answer, rotation 90 degrees, center 1, 4.